What's up, guys? Chris here with Palmer Aquatics. Tonight, we're just hanging out, and it's super late, and I just felt like going live and just uh, streaming, answering some questions. Um, let's see if anyone is hanging out in the chat, and the questions are already coming in. This is awesome, guys. How is everyone doing tonight? As you can see, I got the bright lights on in the background. Life is great. Um, our first question is sent in by Todd J. Chris. What are some good tank mates for Blackmore Goldfish? Uh, that's a great question, Todd. I'm glad you answered that because uh, I was just working on my goldfish tank. And uh, here's the thing. Blackmore Goldfish are fancy goldfish. They're a bigger goldfish. And, uh, it, and by the way, my group, you should join it, Goldfish Keepers, the largest Facebook group. Um, we like to tell people that... Uh, the, that doesn't sound right. That sounds weird. There are two categories of goldfish number one is a single tailed gold sing, single tailed goldfish and then you have your double tail goldfish the double tailed are more or less more fancy of a goldfish and what happens is the double tail goldfish is a slower swimmer and it the problem happens with tank mates with a slower swimming fish is the faster fish eats more of the food and the other fish starves to death so what you're going to want to do is get similar swimming speed fish, if that makes any sense. That's the number one thing you have to worry about. Uh, so right off hand, fancy goldfish, another Blackmore goldfish, uh, some other any types of fancies, um, double tail goldfish, orandas, ryukins, you know, something like a shabunking goldfish or a koi is not going to be the best idea as a tank mate for a goldfish a Blackmore goldfish. And um, that's a good question, Todd. So, and by the way, some of you guys might saying, hey, you don't practice what you preach because you have a single tail goldfish in your fancy goldfish tank, a Shabunkin that someone gave me. And <sighs> that's true. So, I mean, if you really have to put single tail goldfish with double tail, just, just make sure you're feeding enough and give them adequate um, swimming space. Thirsty Rabbit tanks to use in the house. says, good day, good day. How's it going, sir? Um, it's a late night tonight and I just wanted to go live for a little bit and answer some questions. Um, we were just talking about Blackmore goldfish. So, uh, I guess what else is there to say? Also what I, what we see a lot in the group is people trying to keep regular tropical fish with goldfish. And this has always been, there's controversy regarding this topic. You shouldn't do it. Gold. The argument is goldfish are cold water fish but that's also that can also be changed up because i have my goldfish in this heated room at tropical temps it's it's a scary thing to talk about this but what i'm going to tell you the generic answer we tell people in the groups is that you should just stick to the same tail because it's the same swimming speed hopefully that makes sense it's definitely feeling uh all of 80 degrees in the fish the fish office today per se the shop is going great guys what else is there to say about black moors um that's pretty much it i don't i don't i'm not really feeling like talking too much about black moors but to give you guys some updates um i will i am supposed to be getting some more goldfish surrenders in that tank it's probably not the best that i get I already have three pretty large fancies in there and a single tail shabunk, and that's maybe five, six inches long. I do have the shop build coming along here, and probably this spring I'll have fish in there, so I'm not too worried about it. I can always do water changes on the 75-gallon like crazy. You can see there's a pleco in there too, seam swimming. I threw a pleco in there. It's probably the only common pleco I have. I don't even know why I own it. I've been preaching. I don't want to own any more of them, but I still own one. All right, guys, um, I think I'm going to uh, move on to the next question. Hopefully that um, answers your question, Todd, regarding the, the Blackmore Goldfish. So how is everyone doing tonight? Someone says they're having some questions with Tetras. Yeah, Tetra, I always get the question, why did my Tetra die? And it's like, Tetras aren't the toughest fish, if we're being honest. They're, the, the, usually the cheaper the fish the more likely they are to die just because they're mass bred. They get sick easier. And 
That happens with goldfish too. They're a little tougher of a fish. They're a little more resilient, but goldfish definitely do get sick. So, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to wrap it up to the next question. So hopefully that helped you, Todd. I just spent five minutes answering that on Blackmores. All right. Who else has some questions in the chat? Chat.